<laughs> Excuse me. Do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior, Franklin Richards? Normally, this is the time where I would rant about some madcap theory and take a few minutes to try and convince you of all of the reasons why I'm right. Well, today is different. Today, I'm going to rant about a theory that's pretty big on the internet and tell you all of the reasons why I think they're right. Okay? Everyone comfy? Get your best chair, because we're going to do this. Let's begin. Franklin Richards has full control of the Marvel Universe. For those of you who don't know, Franklin Richards is the son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm from the Fantastic Four. He's a mutant who has power beyond a mega level, is a psionic, and can manipulate reality. Franklin first appeared in 1968 in Fantastic Four Annual Number 6, and he was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, who decided that if Reed and Sue were to be married, it would only make sense that they would have children. Franklin was meant to be something new in comics. At a time when comics were actually moving in real time, he was meant to be a character that readers could grow up with. They could see him change as the adventures that he went on affected him. But of course, this didn't happen. You could say that it's the same thing that we see all the time in mainstream comics. Nothing seems to have a lasting effect, and everything always goes back to the status quo. This is true, but not for the reasons that you would think if you believe in Franklin Richards. Now, let's be honest. No one likes change. Personally, I hate it. So the Marvel Universe never really changes because of that reason. Franklin doesn't want anything to change. He doesn't seem to age, and he has stayed roughly the same age since he first started appearing more regularly in the Marvel Universe. He's a fan of the world the way it is. Spider-Man, Captain America, the X-Men. He is a mutant after all. Name a character that has significantly aged. Peter Parker has roughly been in his mid-twenties to thirties forever. When was the last time a hero truly died? Hell, even Wolverine is already coming back. Not that he was ever really gone, thanks to the magic of alternate realities and Old Man Logan. They don't die because Franklin doesn't want anyone to die. This phenomenon is known as Marvel Time. It's a sliding scale that allows characters to never really seem to age. It's something that has been mentioned throughout the history of Marvel by both fans and creators alike. While it is spoken of as an editorial tool, it is highly likely that this is a real thing that is created by Franklin Richards. In the 1996 story arc, Heroes Are Born, we saw the most popular Marvel heroes die in a fight with the villain Onslaught. They were then reborn in a pocket universe created by Franklin Richards. This universe updated the hero's origins, modernizing them for current readers, allowing for the sliding scale to keep the heroes the same age, but update their past so that they could fit more comfortably into the world around them. Eventually, the heroes were returned to the main Marvel Universe, and Franklin's powers were noticed by the Celestials. They are the ones who saw him as a beyond Omega-level powered individual. But wait! Things have been changing around the Marvel Universe for several years now, right? New heroes appearing, old heroes retiring, passing on the mantle. True, but you know who hasn't been around in Marvel for a while now? Since the end of the Secret Wars in 2015, we have not seen Franklin Richards. He's been off with his family restoring the multiverse. He's been creating different realities. We just saw evidence of this in the new Fantastic Four reboot, issue number two. Franklin Richards is still that powerful. Oddly enough, the best way to show the effect that Franklin has in the Marvel Universe is to look at an old episode of the Justice League animated series. In a two-part episode called Legends, Hawk Girl, Green Lantern, Flash, and Martian Manhunter are transported to an alternate reality in which reside the heroes from the comics that Green Lantern read as a kid. These heroes, which were allusions to the JSA, fight endless adventures of the same villains over and over and live in a world that never truly changes. It's revealed at the end of the episode that that reality that they live in has been altered by a powerful mutant after the world ended and his favorite heroes had to die. Not wanting to live in a destroyed world, he created one in which nothing ever really changed, and the heroes that he loved fought endlessly. This episode fully illustrates what Franklin Richards has been doing to the Marvel Universe since he was born. Granted, he isn't a super deformed super villain, but the similarities are there. It also is very probable that Franklin isn't even aware that he is doing this, as we have seen numerous times in numerous comics that he can unconsciously affect the world around him with his powers. Maybe it isn't just the Marvel Universe. Maybe Franklin Richards has created all universes. Maybe he is behind the source wall. Now I'm gonna go stand at a corner and rant about the end of the world because Franklin Richards is coming back to the main timeline. And what does that mean for us? I have no idea. But what do you think about this Franklin Richards theory? All joking and fun aside, this is a theory that Marvel fans have been toting for a very long time. And Marvel's just kind of like tongue in cheek taking it for what it is. Yes, Franklin Richards changed the Marvel Universe. <laughs> But did he? Now it would appear that that may actually be the case. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this theory, and I'll see you next time right here at Comic Story.